Hi guys, in this quick video we're going to refresh the concept of skin weight painting and this is the technique we use in order to control how much influence a joint has around the skin that is attached to that specific joint. So for this I have a very simple scene right here which is a cylinder and I have a joint structure that for which I have applied an IK handle to which I have applied an IK handle. The IK handle obviously controls the bending of the particular joint structure and then I have a controller down here that I need to attach to my IK handle. So I'm going to do that by making the IK handle a child of the nerves object. I can either parent it if I want to do so. I can go ahead and select this and press P and now the nerve circle is the parent of that IK handle and it controls the bending of the joints. So nothing new there. Now what I want to do at this point is I want to select the joint structure and I want to go ahead and select shift select the geometry that I want to bind into it and then go skin bind skin. Now let's go to the default options for this reset and so I'm going to use the basic structure that the, the basic options that I have here which is closest distance and classic linear. Now as I explained in other videos and during class I prefer to use dual quartering and I like to use my um, geodesic voxel because that uh, allows me to have geometry that is not necessarily quadrilateral. So if I have things that are triangles or n-gons, then that will take care of that. However, I'm going to use the settings as they are reset and I'm going to apply bind. So now with that done, what I want to do is I want to do a test on this and I want to move my controller up to see what happens. Now you'll notice that this is bending here and there's kind of a curvature here that I really don't like. This looks very plasticky. It almost looks like a cigarette bud. That is because this seems to be extremely tense around this area. The, if you think of a cigarette butt and then you bend it, this is basically what happens. You have tension in the upper part of the, of the structure and at the bottom of the structure, which forces that bend to occur in this particular way. If this was a leg, this is not the way legs bend. This area here should be a little bit thicker, which means the influence of this joint should be stronger in this area. And to do this, what we need to do is paint that influence in here. So let's go ahead and select the actual geometry and under skin I am going to drop down to paint skin weight options. Now that opens up the window that tells me the structure that I have and the influence that each one of those joints has in the geometry. So if you look, look at um, joint two you'll notice that my geometry influence my, my influence of that joint the strong the, the strength of that joint is kind of like half 50% around here and I want it to be stronger so that this bends accordingly. So to do so what I want to do is I want to make use of my brush tool as you can see by default under this option I have the brush tool activated and the brush tool works the exact same way as it does when you're doing painting in any other area of Maya. So if I press the B key and I click and drag I can increase or decrease if I move left and right the size of my brush. Now uh, what this does is basically looking at the position of the different vertices on my geometry and it's painting around those vertices. We can change the amount by which it paints by changing the opacity of the brush and you can change the amount of paint by color as well. So if you want to uh, if you want to remove influence you want to bring the value down to zero which will paint black and if you uh, increase it it'll paint white. So think of this almost as the influence that an alpha channel has on a transparency setting on a layer in Photoshop. The lighter it gets, the more you see, the, the darker it gets, the less you see. So that's basically the exact same principle here. So this joint right, ha right here, which I have selected under the influences window up here, it's my middle joint and I want that to influence this a little bit more. So I want to increase the influence value to one and I want to start painting. And as you can see, my geometry starts changing right away. It starts getting, it starts increasing in size. So one might be a bit too much, but I want to keep it at one just to make the point that I want this to be completely influenced by that particular joint. Like I said, this is looking at the position of the vertices. So it is only going to paint as, long, uh, as far as you get closer to a vertex. That's how, as far as this is going to be painting. So let's go ahead and paint that area here. And you can see that my geometry kind of like gets a little bit bigger here, which means there's more strength on that area from this joint. This joint has more influence in that area. And when I get out of this mode, let's say, for example, I move to the move mode to the move tool, you'll notice that my geometry bends more like what I intended it to do. So if I go ahead and move this down, my geometry goes back to normal. But when I bend it, now that area is going to be influenced more by this than by this joint right here. 
And that is how you can go ahead and paint the weights and influence the amount of, uh, of the strength that a joint has on the geometry around it.